Welcome to Electron Online, and before we do what we call continuous compounding, let's try hourly compounding just to see what the difference is between daily and hourly compounding. In the previous videos, we already saw what we, the amount of interest earned on a $2,000 investment after three years for yearly compounding was this much, monthly compounding was this much, and daily compounding with M equals 365, that's 365 conversions per year, it was this much. You can see there's not a lot of difference between monthly and daily. So what if we calculate the interest earned every hour and add it to the principal, how much more money would we earn? We use the same equation. So here we get the amount accumulated is equal to the principal invested. Again, we put $2,000 in an account. The rate is 5%. And now the number of conversions would be how many hours in a year? Well, let's say there's 365 days in a year, and in each day there's 24 hours. So M would be 365 times 24, like that. Of course, if you want to know what that is, we can quickly calculate it. So 365 times 24, that would be equal to 8,760. That's the number of hours in a year. So therefore, and then we have to raise this to the 300, uh, to the M power, which is 8,760 times T for three years, like that. Okay, let's go ahead and work that out. So the amount accumulated is equal to, starting with 0 0.05 divided by 365 divided by 24, add that to 1 and take the whole thing and raise it to that exponent. So x to the y, and we have 8760 times 3. Okay, and so end up with $2,000 times 1.16. 1833667. Again, you don't need all those significant figures, they're not really significant, but so when you do that yourself at home, you can take a look at it and see if you get pretty well the same number. Then you multiply that times 2000, and you get the total accumulated amount to be $2,323.67. Now let's compare that over here. So M is now going to be equal to 8760. That means we're going to calculate the interest every hour and add it to the amount invested. So after three years, it would be equal to $2,323.67. So the difference between compounding daily and compounding every hour is only three cents on a $2,000 investment over three years. Hardly worth the effort. So you can see why the banks do not even bother compounding hourly. There's no benefit to be gained. Uh, it may be a gimmick, but really no value in doing so. So that's why banks do it every hour. So now let's go to our next video and see how it's done when we do it continuously. How does the equation adapt itself to do it continuously? So every moment, every day, and you see that it really wouldn't make much of a difference at all. But stay tuned and watch the next video to see how we do continuous compounding.